So, Commander in Chief, you get a phone call um, and um, you find out that uh, a soldier in Pakistan has just uh, hit one of our allies, punched him in the face because he had chained to a bed a 12 year old boy that he had kidnapped and then brutalized the mother when she tried to free him. Uh, and they're saying to you at the Pentagon that that goes against the rules, that's part of the culture that they don't understand and it's none of our business. What do you do to those? I invite that soldier to the White House, publicly commend him and tell that anybody in the training command that didn't understand, that needs to go. So do you take, as commander in chief, because now we've had eight years of, of craziness in the Pentagon where it's just gone upside down, um, do you go now and look at every single person that has been put in a position of power? Look, I think I think we're going to clean it out. I, we absolutely have to rebuild the military the same way we hollowed out our military post Vietnam, and that's what's happening now. And we're going to have to go and rebuild our military, and that means more resources, and that means that we've got the right people in the right places that understand the whole point of our military is to be the the greatest fighting force in the history of the world. We got to take the political handcuffs off the military and have the right people in place to say. All right, if we send the military in, it's to get a mission done, to be victorious, and, and then to come home. Right now, we're not doing that. Right now, we got this drip policy in Iraq where we keep sending a few more. We're not letting them go and do their jobs.